it's cold, it's raining, it's wet, but hey, it's football weather. The Patriots playing in prime time after falling short in the Super Bowl last season. The Patriots are hungrier this time around, and they believe if they fall short again, their season will be a disappointment. Well, Tom Brady could break another record. If they can make it to the Super Bowl, Brady averages more than two touchdown passes a game, and he only trails Joe Montana by four. Vince Wilfork, he's usually a big vocal leader for the Patriots about making big plays. And during his press conference today, he said, if we keep playing defense like this, we're going to have a tough time winning more football games. Spoke to a few players personally in the locker room about Wes Welker taking full responsibility for the Super Bowl loss. All the players agree, saying you can't point your finger. We lost Super Bowl 46 as a team. Rob Ninkovich left the game with a hip injury. They will reevaluate him tomorrow, but let's just hope that two weeks is enough time to see number 50 back on the field. Vince Wilfork says it's win or go home time. There's no way to sugarcoat it, and we need to do everything we can to win. Now, after losing in the month of December for the first time in three years, the Patriots couldn't pick a better opponent to get back on the winning side of things. Looking on paper, the 2-12 and Jacksonville Jaguars don't stand a chance against the Patriots, and if history repeats itself, they don't stand a chance of stopping Tom Brady either. Stephen Ridley says he sometimes sleeps with the football. Now, he says he won't do that on Saturday night leading up to the Texans game, but he did say he will hold on to the pillow high and tight. Now, while Welker and the Patriots couldn't string together a bunch of plays to score points, on the other hand, Eli Manning, the complete opposite, cool, calm, and collective during the most crucial part of the game. Even Bill Belichick, leading up to this game, he wanted his running backs to be focused in on Sunday's game, so he told all the running backs not to talk to the media today. Bill Belichick says Henny has had some of his best games against his guys, and he respects them. But then again, Bill Belichick says that about pretty much everybody. Well, the Patriots are inside Gillette Stadium earlier today, putting on the finishing touches on their game plan for the Texans. But listening to Bill Belichick this week, you'll think the Pats were preparing for war. Earlier this week, Bill Belichick said, quote, you don't win a war by digging a foxhole and sitting in it. You need to attack, end quote. The Patriots are fully aware of the Texans and how they dominated them by 28 points a month ago. But Belichick believes, just like any branch in the military, you can anticipate success, but you have to adjust to your surroundings. When you talk to the Navy SEALs and, and those guys about when they go on a mission, you know, they talk about, all right, so we get there and there's a six, you know, we, we practice going over this six-foot wall and the wall's 30 feet high. Well, that's, you know, that's the way it is in the NFL. You know, you practice for whatever. You think you're going to swim across a, you know, 200-yard lake and, you know, the lake's 800 yards. And, well, you, you got to get across it. Well, you get into the NFL game and think you're going to get this and you get that. Now, as a head coach and an assistant, Bill Belichick has coached in 44 playoff games, but he admits he gets butterflies leading up into the game. But when the game starts, those butterflies go flying away. We're live at Gillette Stadium, Darren Haynes. Turnovers can cost you the game, and for Stephen Ridley, his season. As a running back, your main rule is to hold on to the football, and as the playoffs get started on Sunday against the Texans, the Patriots and making sure history doesn't repeat itself again. Almost one year ago, same divisional round game as this Sunday, Stephen Ridley fumbled the football. End result, Bill Belichick benched him for the rest of the playoffs. I haven't forgotten what happened. You know, you have to learn from your mistakes. And that's what I've said the whole year. I mean, we can't sit on the bad or sit on the good. But for me, you know, it, it's crunch time. This season, Ridley has fumbled four times. And Belichick is doing everything, and I mean everything, to keep the pigskin in Ridley's hand. Put a few different things on the ball. I don't even know what's on there. I mean, grease baby powder. I mean, it's been Vaseline. It's been Crisco. It's been everything on the ball right now. During the last two weeks of practice, Ridley hasn't carried a dry ball. I've seen a little bit of it, but the beauty of my job is I don't have to touch the ball, so <laughs> I let them worry about that. Well, I haven't seen it, but I'm glad I don't have to handle the ball with that. So, you know, <laughs> kind of stay away from the athletic stuff, I guess. It, it does help, you know, you got to keep that extra thought, like the ball is super slippery, so I got to take extra, extra care of it. So, I mean, it helps. But the Patriots have faith in number 22. And what has been a bad memory for Stephen Ridley is the motivation that keeps his mind and hands on the football. You can't make excuses for messing up or, you know, costing, you know, the team a turnover because everybody's done it at some point in time. But, you know, you have to put a little bit more emphasis on it this week in the playoffs because this is our whole season. 
during the regular season. Stephen Ridley says he sometimes sleeps with the football. Now, he says he won't do that on Saturday night leading up to the Texans game, but he did say he will hold on to the pillow high and tight. The Patriots winning performance against the Jacksonville Jaguars wasn't good enough in Tom Brady's eyes. Got out competed out there. I uh, fought, you know, we're lucky to win. A clearly unhappy Tom Brady leaves his offense. Played pretty terrible out there. Brady under pressure is going to get hit shot. And their overall performance. It was a, uh, you know, bad 60 minutes football. A lot of Brady's frustration comes from his personal performance. Brady plants, turns, throws the ball down the field. This one is intercepted. Throwing two interceptions against one of the worst defenses in the NFL. For Brady, that's downright unacceptable. They didn't give us anything. I mean, we had to fight for it, and they made plenty of plays on us, and, uh, you know, just wasn't a very good performance. And their performance, similar to last week's slow start, turning what should have been an easy win into an uneasy quarterback moving forward. You get very concerned when you don't play well, and that's uh, very evident by the way we perform. So you better have a good week of practice, or else it's going to be just as tough against Miami. So thank you. Now, Tom Brady's one of the most competitive quarterbacks in the NFL, so there's no doubt he'll put in the time and effort this upcoming week to make sure the Patriots finish on a high note before the postseason. We're live in Jacksonville. Darren Haynes.